Hello there. Today we're going to be doing a review of these, the DYS Aria BL Heli 32 35 amp ESCs. Um, I've got four of these to install. So what we're going to do is break down what's in the uh, what you get in your in the bag, and then we're going to install it into a mini quad. Okay, so let's open this up. So in here you get your instructions. Whoop. There we go, which I've managed to rip already. So it gives you all the information, what the burst rating is, so 40 amp burst, continuous rating of 35. There's no BEC, which means it hasn't got F5 volt output on it. It'll run from 3S to 6S, which is good, because we're going to be running these on uh, 5S batteries. What the weight is and what the size is. Also gives you information on how to um, wire them up. Um, if you need that. Okay, so what else is in there? So we've got two nice little bits of heat shrink. So if you need to take the solder off these um, and, and take the casing off, you've got two nice bits of heat shrink that go with it. That's quite a nice touch. You don't tend to get that. Um, you also get a little cage that you can uh, protect your flight, uh, your ESC in. So you can put it in there like that and close it up. Um, I know quite a few people who run these. I never have. Um, because I try to save weight most of the time and didn't want them on there. So it's useful if you want it. So let's look at your ESC. So let's bring it up into screen. So you've got your connections for your um, three, the three connections for your motors. You've got your ground. You've got your main voltage coming in. And then you've got a the signal and ground wires that come out of the uh, out to go into your flight controller. It does come with the normal um, servo connector, um, which you don't need. Um, so what's I noticed different about this is actually these are nicer wires than the ones I normally get. So I have all of my quads pretty much, with the exception of one, all run Speedex uh, 30 amp. BL Heli 32S um, ESC, so the older version, the non 32 bit version. Um, they are, and they, don't, they have sort of the, the, the cheap plastic wire, whereas this is the nice silicon wire. So that's quite a nice touch. So overall, pretty impressed with these. So why would we use 32, 32 bit? So 32 bit is a faster ESC, it allows you to output telemetry, um, so you can pass information back to your flight controller about how things are going, their height, their temperature, um, and they also can run at a, a higher rate. So um, you can run them at what is that, the D shot uh, 1200, which means that they are at much higher cycle rates, therefore they should respond faster. You can also do some quite cool things that I will show uh, in a bit. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to install it onto my mongoose frame. So we're going to take these ESCs off and we're going to upgrade it. But you don't need to see that. We'll just make that happen. Okay, so we're all back in. Um, so ESCs are all now installed. They're really pleasing to install, actually. Uh, for, well, as pleasing as ESCs can be. Um, they've got all silicon wires, which is really, really good. I'm really happy with that because um, the other plastic wires are rubbish. These silicon wires are so much easier to work with and you don't have any problems. Um, you get a lot of extra cable, so do what you will with that. Um, so really happy with that. The only disappointment was there isn't um, a telemetry wire coming out of here. You'd have to take all the packaging off, solder up the telemetry wire and then and then do all the connections for that. Uh, in a racing joint it's not a problem but it would just be nice if the cable was already um, already soldered up for you. It just makes life a lot easier like all the other ones. So um, I've now got it on. It's uh, I've went and flashed all the firmware so that's now all up to date and I did a few little things to it. So. Um, one of the things you can do with 32-bit uh, ESCs is you can program chip tunes onto them. You could do it on the older ones, but you get more channels and you can do better jobs. So I decided to program it with this. So there you go. So that's um, uh, the Mario theme tune. Um, I picked that up from, uh, I think it's called Red Wolf. I'll put a link up here to his website. You can get lots of different tunes. Um, one of my other quads has got a uh, Giles theme tune, which is quite cool. Um, well, cool in a geeky kind of way. The other thing that's quite good about these ESCs is you've got these little lights on here, and these are programmable, so you can set them to be the colours you want to have. So I've got red at the back and blue at the front, just to help with orientation. That again is configured within the configurator. So 
pretty happy with this. It's all it's all good. The only thing I would quite like of these lights is if they were status lights, so that you could see if there was a problem and that if, a, if ESC had failed, that it would give you some kind of signal that this one was say flashing or something like that. That would be really really useful. But anyway, other than that, really useful. So that's a quick review of the um, DYS ESCs. So, so hope you enjoy that, and I'll see you all next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.